What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another video here on Knots Week, right here on the Knights of Horror, something we do every single year to build our excitement for Not Scary Farm, specifically the 2022 haunt season. We're very stoked. And to show how stoked we are, we decided we want to give you our most anticipated mazes for the 2022 season. Now, we got two brand new ones and seven returning with a total of nine mazes. We are very excited. We're going to start all the way down from our least anticipated to our most anticipated. And just as a reminder, Sammy and I love all these mazes for various reasons, for different uh, reasons and stuff. So even though one might be lower, that doesn't mean we're actually shitting on it or anything. We just, there's more uh, hype to other mazes that we, there's things that we enjoy more in. So with all that being said, let's start off with number nine. Mr. Sammy, what is your number nine uh, most least anticipated for this year? Number nine, Burger King Foot Lettuce. The maze. I uh, I didn't know that was a, that might be the tenth <laughs> one that wasn't added. Oh dang it! I'm I must have messed up my guys. list again. I was looking at the wrong one. My nice. bad. Uh, number nine on my list will be home to the pumpkin eater. Bum, 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 bum. That's ironically my number nine too. Wow, I didn't know what was going to be nine. But by the way, we did not share our list with one yeah, another. We it's just, funny because <laughs> we wrote them on Zoom together, but we didn't share anything. Like we were just like, I was just like, write your anticipated list, scare zones and shows. Don't tell me them. Yeah. So number nine is Pumpkin Eater. Pumpkin Amazing Eater. that I enjoy, uh, but it has been there for a, a few years now. So. Um, Definitely not a maze where I'm like, I got to see this right every single night I go. Um, I will enjoy it a couple of times throughout the season, just full transparency. But I'm not like every night I'm there. I have to see Pumpkin Eater. Correct. Um, um, it's a it's a fun maze. It's a great walkthrough, especially because you get to go exit out into the hollow um, yeah. and enjoy that scare zone. Um, but it's it's a cool maze. It's really designed well, but it's just not the, the top one for me. Yeah. Going into uh, the season. Uh, I'm in, I'm in agreement. Like it's a great scenic wise. It's great. It's got its own time period too, which I love. And that's something about these mazes that all kind of make them unique is they have their own different time periods of where they are in time, whether it be the far future or the, the very f past, you know? So, um, you know, it's fun going into, you know, the whole tale of, uh, Peter, Peter pumpkin eater. That's really cool. Um, and to go inside the pumpkin and the guts and everything, that's really cool. So I like the maze, but there's other mazes on here that I like for more reasons and stuff, but, I am very excited to hit Pumpkin Eater again. It's always a good opening night to go through all those mazes and just revisit them because that's, that's that's a home for us. Um, number eight, I'm going to go Dark Entities. Is that your number eight too? How did you know? Did you steal my list? I did not because I guarantee you our list gets very different from going up from now. Oh, it's gonna it's gonna do some flips and dives. So we have a bet. Soon. I'm thinking four out of nine that he that he uh, that we have compared. That we match. And what yeah. do you think? Same thing. Uh, I think we'll go five. I'll go five out of nine. We'll go five out of nine. Okay, we're already two for two. So yeah, two for two. Um, at this dark point. entities. I mean, what can I say about it? It's it's a great maze. Sci-fi. If you guys love sci-fi, alien films, you know all that stuff. It's a great maze. Um, we just really wanted them to put the guns from Special Ops inside this maze because it would have made it like an alien adventure, which would have been really cool, uh, especially because they look similar to the pulse rifles from Alien. So, like, that would have been dope. Um, however, where those rifles are going, I think, is going to be just as good, if not better. Um, so I, I'm excited to go through Dark Entity again. I'm, I'm excited to go through space again and see all the aliens and the contamination of the ship and stuff. So that's just me. Yeah, and I love Dark Entities, um, especially because generally it has a, a really low line yeah. um, every time I've gone through it. Um, so it does uh, provide for the best scares because uh, a lot of the times Tony and I will just be by ourselves in that maze. Yeah. Um, or there'll be a lot of space between us. Um, and so in instead of being conga lined through that maze, you're able to get each and every scare, which is super awesome. As well as if I'm leading the way, uh, we might get lost in the maze. It's happened a few times already. Um where I've yes. accidentally, <laughs> accidentally made a turn when I wasn't supposed uh, to. So, uh, um, you know, and if Tony's leading the maze, it gives me an enjoyable time because there will be parts of that that maze that Tony gets a little scared at. Um, and so and I, I enjoy it. the POVs, so. Yeah, so I, I have a good time in that maze. Um, but uh, number seven on my this list. might be where it, it goes a little different. Is Dark Ride. Yep, it went different. It went different. Here's where the uh, the change happens. I love Dark Ride. Um, and so to put it here at seven kind of pained me um, just because I really enjoy this maze. 
Um, but this is another maze that has had its its time with uh, not scary farm. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds. Um, but it's it's a maze. It's a good time. I always have a good time. I love the I love the idea behind it of going through an abandoned dark ride and then seeing uh, the different inhabitants of that dark ride is always a good time. Um, but you know, this one's also coming to the the, the end of its time. So um, I'm anticipating either next this year or next year it will be leaving. Um, yeah. But uh, I'll enjoy the walkthrough when I when it, when we do go through it for sure. My number seven, Waxworks. Wow. Yeah, uh, I love Waxworks. It's a great maze. Uh, this is going on its third year at the event. Um, so, I, you know, it's a great maze. I uh, love it. Um, there's just that one, and I can't, I can't really say it. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, I don't know what's, what's missing. But there is something that I've always noticed since I've gone through there that is missing. And... I feel like if they were to add a thing or something, like it would for some reason complete it. I don't know. I, I don't know what exactly is missing, but I just have that feeling that something is missing. Um, so, yeah, Waxworks is always a fun time, though. Great scares. I love going through all the museum scenes because I love wax museums. I, I went to a lot of them growing up, especially the old one right down the street from Knott's, uh, Movie Line Wax Museum. That was one of my favorite wax museums growing up. So um, it kind of gives me those vibes and gives me that, those kind of memories, but in a horror-shaped way. Um Number six, I'm gonna go the depths. We matched up. That's three. That's three for three, or three for four. Three for four. Yeah. Oh, I'll go. I'll, I'll share my commentary on this one. Yeah, yeah. I, I I love the depths. Once it's another maze that I really enjoy. Um, I really like the concept, especially when it's running at its full uh, capabilities. When you get to go through the little pre-show right. and all of that cool stuff, like those are really cool scenes. But most of the time you're going through, they're just trying to get you through as quick as possible, um, especially on busy nights. Um, so you don't always get to see the entirety of the scope of this, of this maze, which kind of makes it a little bit lower on my list because of that. Um, but I love I love the cookbook room. Um, if you know, you know. Uh, I love I love the undersea. I like uh, sharks and mermaids and all the fun stuff that you find in there. Uh, but just, you know, as, as we've been saying, there's a, there's a, there's a few other ones that... Just couldn't crack the top five just yet. Um, yeah, depths for me is is always been one of my favorites. I mean, I, I I'm a huge fan of like underwater movies and, and stuff with like mytholo- mythological my, mythological creatures, um, and depths really captures that of uh, when they're supposed to be like underwater miners, but then you find out there's like a whole underwater like like all these creatures and stuff, which is really cool. Um, and you get to even see Davy Jones himself, uh, which gives me Pirates of the Caribbean vibes every time. But uh, the giant octopus is a really cool effect. The cookbook room with under the uh, lasers in the water and stuff, that's one of my favorites. Uh, to see those scares are really good. Um, and, and just scenically, it is beautiful. I think the only thing that does kind of put it low on this list is, like Sammy said, a lot of the times we go through it on busy nights, it's really conga line-ish. Um, and you sometimes just stop in one area for like a good couple of minutes. I've done that a lot in the past. Um, so I'm hoping that they, we have a kind of control on the line. So we'll see. But number five, Dark Ride. Ooh, okay. Uh, Dark Ride for me is uh, something that, you know, if you've gone to theme parks all your life, it gives you kind of that fear of like, what if an abandoned Dark Ride was taken over by evil carnies and they were luring people in just to kill them? Um and to see how cheesy and everything that is because it's supposed to look like that is really good. I think the designers did an amazing job capturing that, like, carnival dark ride fill and stuff. Um, and then as you progress throughout the the maze, you start seeing all the people that have taken over or, like, you know, are trying to kill you throughout the maze leading to your grand room in clown hell. I mean, I've, I've said this a million times, and Sammy probably agrees with me. There, I just would love to have a, a night where I can just play in there and just go down the slide, fucking jump all over the stage. I mean, it just looks so fun to play in there um, and just to scare. It'd be a lot of fun to do that for a night. But, yeah, Dark Ride is something that uh, I really like. Uh, it should be approaching a farewell year this pr- pretty soon. I wouldn't say this year. I don't know what's going to be the farewell mazes this year, but pretty soon it should be approaching a farewell year. So I kind of want to enjoy it as, as much as I can. Yeah, number five on my list is uh, Waxworks. Um, as Tony mentioned, uh, my, my one critique is that it's uh, kind of not always at full capacity, and I think that's why it feels like something is missing in there. Mm-hmm. 
because like there's a lot of great opportunities in there. There's some like great drop scares, like where they drop a picture and there's some there should be someone behind there, or um, like if you're pressing the buttons in there, because there's like different little 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 Easter eggs that you can do in there. But sometimes it's just uh, it, because it's so packed, you don't get to enjoy the entirety of it. Um, so I kind of wish we could do that, like with a little spotlight in that one room. Um, but I, I really enjoy this maze. It's it's really creepy. Um, the the detail on it is is, is amazing. Um, and like there's like that one scene with the with the with the mirror where it's like I'll I'll stop the world and melt with you. Every time I see yeah. that, I'm like, oh, this is sick. Um, you know the little details in it that it just really get me hyped up to go with it. Um, and then like. Well, the year it came out back in 2019, my first year, uh, first year back to haunt was super sick. Um, and if it didn't open with uh, Origins, probably would have been my favorite maze that year. Um, so I, I enjoy Waxworks, and uh, it makes it just cracks that top five this year. Number four, what you got? Number four, what do I have? Ooh, this is this is gonna be a this is gonna be a controversial take. Uh, number four on my list is Grimoire. Um, I because would, though, because I put that at number four too. Dang, I knew ah four Ooh. out of how many so far? Six, four to six. Yeah, Grimoire is number four on my list. Um, because the teaser is kind of confusing. Like I'm in, I'm excited and, and and really anticipate this to be a good maze because uh, the last few mazes that have come through have been fantastic, um, and really blown me away. Um, but the trailer kind of left me a little confused. Um, so I'm like, what are we actually going to get here? Um, are we getting a, a Evil Dead? Are we going through some like time period, time travel piece? What are we getting? So I'm excited to see what's actually going to be behind those uh, behind the creation of this maze. Um, yeah. And so this does have the potential to jump up into that top three, but currently just a, a number four on my list. Yeah, I'm on the same page. Like the the trailer really confused me, but after after reading the synopsis, it kind of gave me a little bit more as to what we're going to be seeing. So, I'm excited to see what this one brings, and I hope it blows me away. Uh, it is a brand new maze for 2022, so we shall see. Uh, but right now, I'm going to leave it at four until I go through it. It might, like you said, go up in 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 the uh, the old rankings there. But we're going to number three, and this is where I think our number three and our number two are going to be a lot different. <laughs> They're just gonna be flipped. Let's just be honest. It probably will, because I can de- guarantee you our number one's probably gonna be the same after hearing this list. Origins, yeah, I is my number two. Your... No, that's three. your number three. three. That's your number three. Um, Origins is great. Um, easily one of the best mazes I've ever seen in my life. Um, love Letter to Ghost Town. I love it. Um, and I love seeing all the the little miniature set pieces they built based off the big set pieces in actual, you know, in Calico and stuff. So that's really cool to see a lot of the most iconic characters over the years who have come and gone in Ghost Town is really cool. Um, so this maze, in my eyes, like I said, is one of the greatest mazes ever made, ever. Um, so there's nothing that's ever going to change my mind on that, unless they go all out with another maze this year that is just unbelievable. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, number three on my list, uh, if you can do some math, you might be able to figure this one out, is actually going to be Mesmer. Um, I really enjoyed it, um, not as much as I enjoyed number two on my list, but um, I really enjoyed this maze, a really fun walkthrough, um, especially after the season and we got to watch uh, the Lights on Tour by... Sharp Productions. Sharp Productions, that's who I was looking for. I could picture their little, like tape thing intro yeah into it but sharp productions uh walk through with the lights on was super sick made me want to go through the red door um and see the wonders behind there um as well as like i'm really hoping i can get a walkthrough where they're actually doing the little pre-show thing um because i know that they were doing that last year on like the opening night uh, but then it got scrapped because it was holding the lineup so maybe fingers crossed they'll do it again for opening night this year we'll be able to see the wonders of that pre-show um but i mean overall this maze is super cool it's a really cool concept um especially with the trailer kind of conveying it um but it really does not do justice to the actual beauty of that maze um and, and the and it's just a little caveat to the story like if you can really just stand there 
and take it all in. There's a lot going on, and it's really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, all these little different creatures and rooms and the way that they're showing, uh, uh, you know, people's lust for uh, being bigger and better than they were previously um, is super cool. Um, so I'm really excited to, to go through Mesmer again. Um, but uh, now, now on to number two. I mean, because, you know, we're already on the topic of Mesmer. I think it's only fitting that I finish off with Mesmer. Go finish it. Finish it. Mesmer, number two. I mean, I was blown away when I walked through this last year. I really was. Um, you know, we were just coming back from COVID, so I didn't know if this maze was going to be as good as the other ones or not. Uh, maybe they kind of threw something together real quick. Um, but, I, <laughs> boy, was I wrong. This was easily, like, the best way I could compare it, and it's it just sounds funny, but, like, from what I've seen in movies and whatnot, this is like taking acid without taking acid. <laughs> like that's what it looked like to me from what I've seen in movies and whatnot. Like I, that's what it looked like. I mean, the guy who designed this was on drugs because there is no way you just design all this. And then like, I mean, you had to really like dive deep in something like Alice in Wonderland lore or something. Cause like this maze was just phenomenally beautiful and just weird in every way possible. Um, and they really showed off a lot of new effects that I had never even seen. Um, so that was a lot of fun. They, they brought some returning effects that people have used over the years that are very effective. Um, and, and just the giant like monkey character at the end that was like an animatronic. That was so cool to look at. Like you look that thing in the eyes and it looked like if you were looking at Mara in the eyes from Indiana Jones and the Forbidden uh, uh, Temple or something like that. Um, but nonetheless, Mesmer was just mind blowing and it was a great experience. And I can't wait to go back through it again. All right, so number two on my list is, uh, as, as Tony said, probably one of the best mazes we have either of us have ever gone through, and that is Origins. Um, the amount of detail in that maze is unreal. Every time I walk through that maze, I do see something different and something new, um, which is so cool to be able to walk through it and, and get a, a different experience nearly every time. Um, and, like... Fingers crossed this is on the uh, lights on tour opportunity because I really want to be able to walk through it, especially with someone who may be like a subject matter expert on it, um, to get a full grasp of what's going on in there. Because there's just so many little nuggets and Easter eggs uh, that you may not catch every time, especially on a busy night. Um, like I, I really enjoy that that opening scene in the courtroom, the the funeral when you're walking through, and there's like that rain scene. Like there's just so many cool things, and then really getting to see the transformation of Sarah Marshall um, from being convicted to actually being the witch and turning you into the monster is so cool. Um, even the from when you begin the 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 trail through to the maze, like the storytelling that's going on, um, how they have different. Uh, characters through like a place throughout i really enjoy that and and the uh, uh, interactiveness that, that that comes with that um and then you know you just it's what i mean nothing better than when you're walking through ghost town and you're hearing hang that witch um and, and then the trash talking that's coming from the from over there because the, those people are quick on their feet so um i really enjoy this i really enjoy uh origins um and if if number one was not announced this would have been my number one but uh we can go on over into number one which is bloodline, bloodline. 1840 1842 man i mean where do you even start with this one like you got guns check you got vampires check you got a freaking bitchin storyline check this is putting you in a vampire hunting film this is like if blade met van helsing is when i yeah. when i saw this trailer i was so hyped you know seeing some of the greatest locations of calico alone where they filmed a lot of that it wasn't supposed to be calico but you know, <laughs> just if you if you've been to the park many times you know the bar scene was filmed in the bar of calico the blacksmith blacksmith scene was filmed in the blacksmith right there i mean um, it, it just looked beautiful. It did. And, and to see these three like vampire like tribes kind of come together to take on this ultimate tribe and, and to see 
what you're going to get to do in this maze. I mean, I'm so stoked for it. I mean, I love special ops. That gave me, like, the ultimate, as playing Call of Duty Zombies growing up, like, that gave me a live-action zombies experience, so that was a lot of fun. I'm excited to do it with vampires now because now I've seen Blade so many times. I've seen Van Helsing so many times, you know, all these vampire movies that you see, and now you're going to be you're going to get to be the vampire hunter because Knotts had a genius idea to do this. And I'm super stoked for it. Uh, you know, I, I think this is, I'm already saying this right now. I think this is going to be one of the greatest mazes at any event this season. So that's, I know it's a bold statement, but I mean, this is bringing more of my freaking little kid dreams all alive again, because as a kid growing up, I would watch blade. I would watch Van Helsing and I know I shouldn't have, but I did. And I was like, I want to do that. But I was like, that's not real. And Knotts was like, hold my beer. And I was like, fucking A, you know? So, yeah, Bloodline's going to be really good. Yeah, definitely. And from what I've seen, um, based upon, like, how they've, you know, saw some of the uh, people snapping clips of, of it already being built, um, it looks massive. Um, already, Paranormal Inc. had a large footprint, especially if you take into account the opening because uh, that was a pretty large room. Yeah. Um, and for them to be able to accomplish like that flying feet and stuff. So there was a lot of space taken up by that. Uh, but the fact that, A, we're bringing back special ops guns, like done, like that was so much fun. And it really brought uh, a, a sense of vulnerability because we were so uh, focused on like, oh, I'm trying to get the best score possible. That like, you know, there was some opportunities, some really good scares in there. Um, and so I anticipate the same thing happening here. There's going to be some real clever scares. Um, while we're focused on trying to score as many points as possible, also being like, oh, dang, like, I just got scared. Um, and I know that the detail in there is going to be great. Um, I know that because it's going in, like, a show building, it's going to be pretty big. Uh, and so I imagine some pretty big sets, some really cool effects. Um, and, and, you know, just count me in. It's going to be a great time. Like, like Tony said, probably one of the best uh, walkthroughs we're going to do this entire season. So I'm real excited to be able to experience Bloodline 1842. Ladies and gentlemen, in a little under a month, Not Scary Farm will reopen its gates for for the fog to roll out once again for the 2022 Halloween season. The 49th year of Not Scary Farm is upon us. It's looking to be easily one of the best events in a long time. And that says a lot because every year they sh they roll out that red carpet and we go in and we are impressed every single year. But this year it looks like it's going to top everything they've done thus far. With all that being said, we are excited for Knott's Berry, not Scary Farm, at Knott's Berry Farm. And we look forward to going back home. We look forward to seeing all of our friends do what they do best. And we look forward to hearing the screams and smelling that fog again. So, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with the bell notification you should be aware every time I put up a video. Leave a like on this video if you guys really thought it was awesome. It helps via the algorithm to share it out with other people so they can compare lists with us as well. And leave some comments down below of what your most anticipated lists are for this season at Not Scary Farm 2022. I'm your host, Anthony. I'm Sam. We are the Knights of Horror, and we'll see you in the fog. Peace. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,